Hello everybody, I'm Carl Rides, and welcome to episode 7 of Carl Rides Plays Minecraft on the Ripple Effects server. You join me in the shopping district by my shop here, because I believe we've had a few sales in here since the last episode. So the first thing we have is a diamond for 32 items, which are dispensers, which I just, you know, just happened to have on me. <laughs> and nothing else has been sold there, but we have sold an absolute ton of books. So let's get all the diamonds out of here. I have bought a shulker box with some books in it, but I don't know if we're going to have enough. So I might have to do some more AFK in and some more dealing with our villagers. So we have 29 diamonds. 28 of those from books and one of those from redstone. So that is really, really cool. We haven't sold any potions yet, however, um, but let's see what we've got in here. So we haven't got that many on us, um, so we might not have enough to fill it, but we'll give it a go. We'll see how many we've got, like so, put those in there. See what we've got in this one. I can probably fill those three. And then what do we have here? Uh, not doing too badly. I don't really know how to lay this out <laughs> uh, to make it look okay. Um, that, that looks terrible. <laughs> Something like that, maybe? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we'll get some more books as well uh, and fill the rest of those gaps in. But 29 diamonds from our shop already and it's not been opened that long. That is really, really cool. What I do want to do in this episode is switch between the normal resource pack here and the new resource pack that Minecraft put out recently. Uh, so Mojang released a beta of the new resource pack for Minecraft that's going to become the vanilla resource pack in the future. So I just want to see what things look like on the server with this resource pack. So it's here, it's called, um, I've called it new default. Um, but that's going to be the new default um, look of Minecraft. Uh, vanilla tweaks will not work with this, so we won't have the connector glass. So I'm not going to use it that much over at my base because it'll look terrible. But we're mainly looking at the woods. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> I'm not sure about this, you know. Ooh, the dispensers look funny. I'm not a big fan of that cobblestone texture that's on the uh, dispensers. All the redstone te light lamps texture. Hmm. It could be that it's new and change and all that. I don't know. Everything just looks. It looks a bit plasticky. The the these they look a bit like they're made of plastic and not wood now. I'm really not sure. <laughs> Obviously, like I say, we haven't got the connector glass. Not sure about these redstone lamps either. Hmm. It just... Everything's a lot more... What's the word? Saturated. The colours. And like everything's got like these hard lines on them. Like there, the, the line there. That goes all the way around. It's kind of harsher than it was before. Those lines are harsher as well. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll keep using it throughout the episode. Um, obviously this... What have they done to cauldrons? I, I mean bins, obviously. <laughs> Ooh, 
quartz has changed. I kind of like that more marbly effect on the quartz. Um, yeah, I, d um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll play with it for a bit and we'll keep using it throughout the episode. And it's thundering out there. Uh, and we'll see what... Gold looks terrible. Can I just say gold blocks look terrible? I'm sorry. Let me get my valuables out. Alright. These. Diamonds. And gold. And emeralds. I'm sorry, they are horrible. They are, in my opinion, worse than glazed terracotta. And everyone hated glazed terracotta. But they just look like plastic. They look like... They, they just don't look like valuables. They look like as I said, plastic. That looks like a Lego block or something. It, I... I mm. This is all my opinion, obviously. Some people may really like these textures. I don't. <laughs> but, you know, that's fine. So, what is this? Because I haven't shown you this, have I? Um, Link and Mr. Croc 17 made some shops that were on the... Ooh, the new packed ice looks really nice, though. I really like that. That looks nice. Um, and the, I'm getting distracted, I'm sorry. Um, these, there is a creeper outside. Um, these leaf blocks look really nice as well, actually. They look really nice. I like those. There's a creeper outside, I'm going to run away. Um, yeah, so Link made a shop, as we've seen before, which is sort of like a drug shop. And Mr. Croc 17, if I can actually jump up there, yep, made a, a Stan Summers shop. Just gonna, just gonna leave that there. And uh, these shops are sort of not very PG, and this is supposed to be a PG uh, Minecraft server. So, unfortunately, Ripple Police have come along and closed Croc down for non-PG sales, and they've also closed Link down for... Someone changed the sign. Uh, for illegal sales as well. So, I don't like to see shops in the mall being closed down, but I can see where the Ripple Police are coming from. So we're going to head over now to Orbney's base and we're going to have a little chat with the chief of police over there. So I'm going to cut to that and I'll see you guys in just a second. Welcome to the Ripple Police Station. How can I help you? Hi, I'm a manager from the Ripple Mall. I'd like to speak to you about Link and Croc's shops, please. No problem, sir. Please come this way. Thanks for seeing me today. I see that you've cordoned off their shops. Can I ask why? Yeah, we felt that the products that they were selling were no right for a family-friendly Minecraft server. I see where you're coming from. However, the block users are not happy and have made allusions to accidents that may happen against the Ripple Police, the Mall, and myself. Would you be willing to drop the cordon if I get them to add an over 18 sign on their shops? The age limit would of course be enforced by Ripple Mall security. I'm still not sure if they are acceptable shops to have in the mall to be honest. I'll need a good reason to let them trade again. We're not scared of the Blacuza, we have dealt with them in the past and we will provide you and the mall with extra security if you need it. Well, that is a very convincing argument, so for now I'll allow them to trade 
I'll ask my officers to stand down and you're free to remove the cordon. However, if the Blucuzas take revenge, we may need to look at reinstating that cordon. That would be great, thank you. No problem, let me show you out. Thanks for your time today, Chief. It's always a pleasure dealing with them all. Keep in touch and I hope to see you again soon. I will do. Goodbye. Bye. So there we go, guys. We're back at the Ripple Mall. And as you can see, the police officers have gone. Uh, their vehicle has gone as well, and uh, as the chief said, we're allowed to remove the cordon. Um, so, I didn't bring any shares. <laughs> I hope that uh, Link and Croc are happy that we managed to come to an arrangement uh, with the Ripple police. And um, hopefully the block oozers won't take revenge. But we'll have to wait and see whether that happens or not. Um, and we may be seeing more from the Ripple Police in the future here on the server. So we're going to take all these resources down. And um, then we're going to head over to my base and start working on our pod for today's episode. Now that pod is going to be my bedroom pod. Um, that's the one that got the most votes in the poll in the last episode. So there you go, Lincoln Croc. You can continue to sell your wares here in the Ripple Mall. Um, hopefully, you'll stay open a bit longer this time. We'll have to wait and see. But now we're going to head back over to my base and start working on our pod. I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so we are back at my base and it is night time, which is good. <laughs> this is what the temporary base looks like with the new texture pack on. I'm just gonna get this out just in case. Um. The hell are they? Beetroot. Okay. Carrots look fine. Beetroot looks okay, actually. The wheat has changed. I think that's more how wheat actually looks, though. In real life. So that's probably a good change. Potatoes look fine. I actually like the new glass when it's like that, but when it's like my actual base, look at the state of that. Again, the new cobblestone texture, I'm not a massive fan of, and kind of the bubbliness of it. The new doors look cool though. Um, Hoppers, again, look a bit plasticky. <sighs> I don't really know what to say. Let's have a look at my collection of heads. They're probably the same, yeah. I like the new beds, though, because they have an actual pillow, and that actually looks like a sheet on top of it. So the beds, big fan of. The new glass, I really like, in when it's just a couple together. When it's a big load of glass like them, it doesn't look so good. The new wheat's fine as well. And I believe if you put these logs together, four logs together, you get four, log, uh, four bark blocks, which have this texture on all sides, which is going to be cool for building. That's going to be really good. Um, enchantment table. This bit wasn't going to go on this long, but I'm just intrigued. That's fine. Um, AFK fish farm. Iron doors look fine. The new note blocks are kind of cool as well. Um, 
it's sort of like a mixed bag. Like, some of the stuff looks really nice, and some of the stuff looks terrible, in my opinion. But, like with anything, you're going to get used to it. So, it's probably fine. But, like I said before, you guys can download this resource pack and bob it onto your worlds and take a look at it for yourselves. And there's also a link to the feedback form on the Mojang blog post as well, so check that out in the video description below. But now I'm going to put the he all the resource pack back on and vanilla tweaks back on. And we are going to go and sleep and then we're going to come back and we are going to... It's that time of the video guys. We're going to build some pixel art. I'll see you guys in just a second. So there we go everybody, that is my head all up and running. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the other three sides of my head and put the roof on as well and I'll bring you guys back in just a second. Welcome back everybody, as you can see the head is in. Now you might be wondering, Carl, why is the pod purple when your head isn't purple? Well. I didn't want to do another brown pod, like the villager one over there, because that's what I would have had to have done, or used white glass, which would be the same as that one. So I wanted to do something a little bit different, and if we look at my skin, it's sort of, the bottom half of me is sort of like a reddish sort of maroony colour, but you can't get that in Minecraft, concrete and... Maybe a little bit in terracotta, but not really. And you definitely can't get it in concrete. Um, so I had to go for the nearest colour that matched my skin, which was purple. And I think once it's done, it'll actually look pretty cool and pretty unique. Um, and I didn't know, like, thinking about the other pods that I'm going to build in the area with, like, farms in and all that kind of stuff. Purple is one of those colours that isn't used a lot in Minecraft um, in terms of like there's no purple mobs as such. Uh, Endermen are probably the closest. Um, so, you know, and there's no kind of like purple foods or anything like that. Except like beetroot maybe, but I'm not going to build an entire pod just for beetroot. Um, so I thought I'd use purple basically. Um, and I think it's going to look pretty cool once it's finished. Now, this top part is the one we're going to start with. And this one is going to be my bedroom. So I'm going to set down this shulker box right here. And this has got everything in it that I need. So I've designed already what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is take two ender chests. And they are going to go in the corners here. So I've got access to those. And then around here, we are going to make some one, two, like so. One, two. And then like so. I think that's how it's going to be. <laughs> And looking at a design that I've done in my test world. So hopefully this all matches. Probably better if we do the white and these first on these sides. So if we line up here, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then on this side, oop, needs to go back. Is this going to break? No! I hate that. I hate that so much. Uh, I need wood. Like 
so, and a crafting table. Fun, fun, fun Minecraft. Thank you very much for annoying me there. <laughs> so we'll put that one in there. Put these back in here, that back in there. And then we need our uh, flower pots, like so. And then we're going to put our cactus inside them, because I think cactuses look really cool inside plant, uh, flower pots. And I, I wonder if they've changed that in the new uh, texture pack. I hope they haven't. And we'll put some chests on here for a little bit of storage in my room as well. Like so, so that's those done. And now if we put in these, so they go back one to here, and then like so, like that. These are where my doggies are gonna live. So we don't actually need that or that on those, that's cool. Same on this side. Yeah, so my doggies are going to live here. I currently have three doggies, and I need to check the comments from episode five to see what you've named them, so I'll do that in a little while. And I also need to find one more dog, because there needs to be two on each of these to make it symmetrical. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll do that. Put those away. We do these next, probably. So in the other corner, so these are in this corner, and then in the other corner we're going to have some little uh, plants, which are going to be cool. So I'll get up here, I can do it, can I do it? No. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Um, is this going to work? Yeah, you can still touch with a pickaxe, that's good. <laughs> I thought it'd go, it'd break and it'd go, no, you need shears for leaves, but no, you can do it with anything that's silk touch. Which you probably already all knew, but you know, this is Carl we're talking about here. Uh, who can't place leaves on top of fence, top of fence post by the sound of it. There we go, so if I grab my purple again, and basically follow the pattern here, like so. So, and the same on the other side, like this. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Four in the middle here, yep. Okay, so get rid of those and grab our... Now, you might recognize these colors from the shopping district because uh, they are the same colors. <laughs> So it's that one, and that one, and then that one, that one. Looking at it from that way, so it's that one there. And then that one, that one there. And then that one is... There. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, no it's not. <laughs> That one, and then that one. There we go. So you can see how it's coming together. On um, this side, we'll start with this corner. And then we go there, there, and there. And then we'll go there. Yeah, it goes down, doesn't it? Like that. Yep. I like things to be the same. It's really annoying. <laughs> it's really, really irritating <laughs> when you like that, but it's cool. And then we can take these two out of the middle and we can bob in a furnace. Probably don't need those. One of these, crafting table and a furnace in case we need it in here. So that is the outside of the room looking pretty cool. And next we need to do the middle. So I need those, those. I need those, 
two beds. And by the looks of it, that is all I need. So let's put these two in the middle. I wish you could stack beds, but you can't. So that's fine. Uh, these around the edge, like so. go like this and not like that <laughs> like so and I need that 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 oh dear this can only end well there we go like so and I do not have enough fence posts because I forgot that that has a fence post in it. Let's take this up one more. So we'll need like loads more of these, but it's fine. So if we take this up one more to there. Hi, Magoo. Uh, like so. And then we can actually get in here. Uh, so we now have a bed here in the middle and everything around it. I think this place looks pretty cool, actually. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's everything I came up with to go in here. If you guys can think of anything else that I can put in here as well that will go with the design that we have here, let me know in the comments below. I kind of want to do some up there, but I'm not too sure what to do. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. What I am going to do right now, however, is go and get my dogs. Now, I need to look in the comments, don't I, to see what you guys have named them. So I'm going to bring you guys back in just a second. Welcome back. It was actually episode four. <laughs> this, this does time flies in this game. Um, I went through the comments and a few people left um, name ideas. And I like Danoobs as the best. Nothing bad about any of the others, but um, I thought Danoobs was, was good. So we have Kevin, we have Tom, and we have Mark as well. And these guys are all stood up because they are coming over to their new home. So come on, guys. If I can get in this boat, guys will follow me over there. And we're going to go to their new home. Which is going to be in my bedroom. Over here at the Carl Head. So let's go up here and we'll get these guys settled. I need to go out and find another dog as well. So if you have any ideas for names of that dog. That go with Tom, Kevin and Mark. Then um, please let me know. And I'll um, have another dog in the next episode that we can name together as well. So I now have to move dogs around, which is fun. Come on. Come on, Kevin. Kevin. Come on. Come on. That's it. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Stay, boy. Stay. I want some more pets as well. Um... I need to go out and find some ocelots and some parrots as well. I think they'd be cool in here as well, along with the doggy doggies. Uh, I think I'll do. <laughs> right, come on, you. Come up. Come up. And stop. There you go. Tom, we'll get you a friend. Don't worry. We'll get you a friend. Yeah, so if you guys have a name that goes with Tom, Kevin, and Mark, let me know. I'm just going to sleep for the first time in my new bed. Um, here we go. Here we go. And there we go. My spawn has been set in my new bedroom. Okay, so I'm going to have a little think about what I want on the next two floors. And I'm going to bring you guys back in just a second.
So I couldn't come up with any ideas, or any good ideas anyway, for the third and fourth floor of my bedroom pod. So I decided to bring you over here to the Winter Wonderland instead, because I want to get this video out before Christmas and show you guys what's been going on over here. Ugh! That guy always st scares me every time I come through that portal. So this is the ice cave um, with the resources to build the area and these are some command blocks. So we're going to set it off snowing in the area. Here's the uh, snowman that we've been using for the snow and everything. Uh, so if we come out here you'll see it's all lovely and snowy out here and lovely and wintry with the sugar canes and the rustic buildings as well. Some of these have been built by Magoo and a couple by Carlock. Carlock has gone round and replaced all of the dirt and grass around the area with snow and carpets as well. He's a crazy, crazy guy, but I do love him for it. Uh, so in here you'll see these are quite nice buildings as well. And uh, if we go back outside, uh, you'll see the nice sort of courtyard area here as well. And the nice paths and everything. So if we go a little bit further down here, you'll see some more of the buildings and the lamps in the area here as well. And uh, so if we go into the hotel, which uh, was built by Magoo, I believe, it's lovely in here, really like it, really nice, love it. Uh, Link is our receptionist, she has a few uh, computers behind here as well for checking people in and taking uh, room reservations and stuff. Over here, Mr. Sin is where he should be. Hi, Carlock. Uh, here in the kitchen. Say hello to Carlock there. Uh, so, yes, yeah, Sin's in the kitchen where he should be. <laughs> Doing a fantastic job of creating our Christmas lunch there for the server. Very good. So we come out of here. It's just beautiful out here, it's really nice. And I love the snow as well. This is our ice skating ring over here. Bye Carlock! <laughs> Enjoy your AFK in mate. And there's our little um, roller coaster as well, which I'll go on in a little bit. So we come over to the stalls. Uh, this is crappy American coffee and this is proper Swedish coffee that I'm selling. I do like my coffee, so that's a perfect thing for me to be selling. Here is Santa as well. Uh, Danube's is selling Christmas socks, snow globes. And Wintergrave is selling some food as well. And um, YD, YT is selling some things there. Here is our stage where we can do our Christmas, Christmas nativities as well and down here is Santa's sort of grotto thing with some custom heads here as well. Hi Santa! And I believe Santa has left uh, Ripple some presents as well so I need to get onto his sleigh here somehow. Uh, they're not underneath so if we just go up here maybe on here? He should be able to get up there, down here, and onto here. Let's see if there's any presents left, because I know there wasn't... Um, it was like a first-come, first-serve thing, so let's see what's in the box. Ooh, very nice. Now, which one should I take? Which present should I take? Because I want to leave some in here for the other people on the server as well. Um, I don't need more diamonds, do I, guys, really? What I do need is lapis, so I'm going to take some lapis because I uh, I used a lot of lapis making the uh, purple uh, concrete for the uh, pod that I just built. So <laughs> I definitely need some more of that. So thank you very much, Santa. That was very nice of you. Thank you for coming onto the server and delivering us some presents there. Um, so yeah, this place is looking absolutely amazing. Uh, Carlock and Magoo have done an absolutely excellent job on this area. 
I did want to come over myself and build a few things, but as you know, um, as some of you may know, I've been uh, quite ill recently, and then after that, I've had quite a lot of hours at work and stuff as well, and just Christmas prep and everything, just life getting in the way of Minecraft, unfortunately. Uh, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Just look at this place. It's absolutely beautiful. The ice spikes in the background as well. Sin. Sin. He's a toilet man. Jeez. <sighs> Don't eat yellow snow, guys. Don't eat yellow snow. What's Orbney doing? What what, what, are you, what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. So, <laughs> let's go into here, which I believe is the start and finish of the Christmas um, roller coaster. So, we press this button, we'll go into Santa's face and we'll drop down. This is a bit scary. <laughs> Onto the track and out here. So, it's kind of like a, a winter scene inside here as well. This is beautiful. I hope it's all spawn proof. <laughs> I don't want to run into a creeper in here. Uh, up we go. Up to here. And we're just going to play some sort of Christmassy music over the top of this, guys. So I'll be back in just a minute. On the first day of Christmas, Minecraft gave to me a creeper in an oak tree. Second day of Christmas, Minecraft gave to me two skeletons and a creeper in an oak tree. On the third day of Christmas, Minecraft gave to me Three enderpearls, two skeletons, and a creeper in an oak tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, Minecraft gave to me four zombies, three enderpearls, two skeletons, and a creeper in an oak tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, Minecraft gave to me five gold blocks. And here we go. We're going back into the Santa head. I hope you enjoyed that song there. That was the 12 Days of Christmas Minecraft parody song from Carlock. Uh, if you want to hear the full song, check the card in the top right hand side of your screen or the video description below. But I think that's going to do us for this episode. Uh, a Merry Christmas to all of you, a Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be a... Uh, mine chest unboxing video. That is going to be my last mine chest unboxing. I've run it for over a year now um, and it's just a bit samey samey so that's going to be my last one and then uh, more Ripple videos in 2018 where we'll get our build on and create some more pods and some more rooms and stuff. Also make sure that you check out my brand new Alexa skill Brewing Coach a link will be in the top right hand side of your screen and in the video description below as well. But for now, that's all from me from the Winter Wonderland. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the episode. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!